so real quick before you did that did Um, mm -hmm. And your your origin story, like how did you get into? Is that he? Uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kuka. What happens is people will get that first deal, and then they'll stop doing the activity. Exactly. Well, I, I want you guys to think about this for a second. So if it took me two weeks to generate, or let's say it took you a month, okay, to yep. generate this, right, through your activity, and then you stop, and let's say it takes a month to close that deal, okay? Mm -hmm. So now you're two months from, you know, maybe let's say you got in two weeks, you're six weeks away from your last contract, but you stop the activity to get the deal, it closes, and now you got to do the activity again for another two You've actually gone two months without the activity to generate a deal. And so you go from one deal and then it takes you another two months to get a deal. What happens is that that lead generation activity has been stretched. And that's what actually causes people to deflate. It's yes. like I got a deal and now I have no idea where my next deal is. Well, you haven't worked on lead generation in two months. That's <laughs> yep. right? not the work, right? You got excited because this happened. And so Think of it in terms of a pipeline. If it yep. takes two weeks to get a deal, whatever that amount of work took, you need to maintain that so you can have your next deal coming up. This is one of the, the key things from going from your first deal to generate consistent deals of being able to put a system in place, really your first system in place. And that's not Podio, that's not a CRM, that's not anything like that. The first system is a step-by-step -step process that causes leads to be generated without you. So this may be a VA who sends out the text messages for you, right? So the text messages come in and then you work them. Now it's happening without you having to press the button and your emotional side getting in the way and be like, oh, I don't feel like doing it today. No, I have someone I'm paying four bucks an hour for mm -hmm. two hours, three times a week to hit that button for me so I can generate it, so I can work the leads, right? Yep. That or I'm paying, you know, I'm going to callgeeks.com and I'm, I'm paying for some cold callers. And now I've got cold callers coming in, right? Whatever that looks like. And that's one thing that can also be kind of hard. People are like, well, what should I focus on? Well, that's why you want to connect with someone to, to give you a path. So you're not yeah. just wasting money. You know, the, uh, you know, investing in yourself is the best investment you can make, right? And the reason why yes. is you spend three grand in, 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 in education. What that's going to do, that's going to save you probably 30 grand in mistakes, okay? Yep. And, and you trying to figure it out. Think of the never ending uncertainty you have trying to figure out yourself. And in real estate investing, the journey to your first 100 grand is like going through a jungle, okay? There's tigers, there's pitfalls, there's cliffs, there's all kinds of stuff. And whoever you reach out to, whatever program you go through, whatever you do, every one of those is simply a path through the jungle and there's mm -hmm. different paths, right? But if you can follow a path to get to where you wanna go, well, now you have experience. Well, if you get three paths, you can walk down each path, and you can figure yeah. out what works. That's why going in and, and connecting and buying the stuff, I've spent, I spent probably 200 grand on courses, just stealing different stuff from different people, yep. okay? And so you wanna be able to walk down that, but continue to create a system that generates those leads. And the faster you can put a little bit of money aside to have those leads generated without your direct involvement, mm -hmm. the faster you're gonna have a consistent lead flow. And now you gotta work on talking to the sellers and refining that skill of talking to the sellers. If you don't have the money, that's okay. There's guys who do millions of dollars a year and they're cold calling, right? Mm -hmm. But they're cold calling 40 hours a week. Right. And the question is, are you willing to cold call 40 hours a week? Right. You know, are you, you know, and, and if so, it's actually a very <laughs> high paying job. Yeah. If you're willing to do that to close the deals, but most people don't want to do it. And so you got to figure out who am I, what am I willing to do? How do I create that consistent lead flow? And now if I have 
eight leads coming in a week automatically, you know you have eight leads, right? If you've got 15 leads coming in automatically, you know you got 15 leads coming in that you can work to get that deal a month. If you've got 30 leads coming in, hey, now I've got enough that I know I'm gonna be getting somewhere between two and three deals a month. Well, heck, now I've got a $30,000 a year business to be able to move down that route. When I first got a VA, I tried her out for two days a week, three yep. days a week, or, or two hours each day for five days, you know, instead of three. Um, and, and, and I tried different VAs to see who's the best, but keep in mind your VAs are, if you go with somebody who's overseas, okay, and they're only as good as you train them, all right? And so this is why I, I recommend some people start doing the cold, if they're doing the cold calling, do the cold calling yourself. So you know what to expect and you know how to train them. Okay. If you don't, if you don't want to go through that, partner up with somebody who does know how to do that. Okay. Or ask, pay somebody to come and train your cold caller and your VA, you know, um, it, it it comes tremendous value. But another big thing that I do is I constantly listen to their calls, not all the time, but every now and then I, I'm listening. And then we bring in for either once a week or once every other week, we bring in for a, a half hour training session. Hey, this is what it, let's try this, uh, this intro here. Okay. Yes. And let's see how it goes. We'll test this out. And if it can, if it does well, we'll keep it. If it doesn't, we'll scrap it and go back to the old way, you know, or try something new, yep. you know, you're always testing to see what gets you the most results, the best results. If you're not, then you're just going to fizzle a little bit away. And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. You know, you're going, you know, everyone wants to, okay. They want to say, what's the magic word to set, to get them to say, yes, I want to sell at what your price is. There's no magic words. It's getting to know them. We're problem solvers. We're here. If they have a problem, great. If they don't, if they don't want to sell, let's get on to the next one. Yep. All right. So didn't even go on a tangent over there, but it's just, <laughs> you know, I, I'm very component of training, uh, training your VAs or training your people. Okay. Uh, and if you're not, and you just expect somebody to know exactly what you know, that's on you, not them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So communication is the key in your personal life and it's in your professional life too. So, you know, so real quick, I, somebody said connect with a sub two student that, that was Daniel Lewis. Um, by all means, I love connecting with other people and sub two students, sub two students are great. In my opinion, sub two students are, it's great for a dispo side, not for a getting, getting the lead side. All right. Um, so that, that's an option. That's just JVing with somebody. I, you know, if you have questions on a sub two, you know, by all means link up with somebody who knows more about it and learn about it. Um, know that there's other options than just a cash offer if a seller doesn't want to come down on their price now if they're not open to those terms or any other terms and they just want cash and they're still stuck at the high price there's nothing you can do yep. okay i and you know so what would you say to you know so what what would be the perfect say eight hour day for somebody just starting out and and literally like we come through day one of wholesaling yep 101 what would what would be their schedule uh so first i want to figure out your goals okay um before we can dictate your schedule we got to figure out your goals we got to figure out where you're at we got to figure out what you want to do i'll give you an example i uh, i made a mistake with one of my first students that i took on formally and I just jumped in, come to find out, he actually wanted to flip properties, he didn't want to wholesale. So I'm like talking all about wholesaling and his first two properties, he bought to flip, okay? So it was like, mm -hmm. so first we gotta figure out your goals and what your exit and what it is you want. Um, from there, then we gotta understand, you know, you gotta understand time, okay? And, and the reason why time is important is how much are you gonna actually work? Not right. how much you're gonna think about it, 
how are you gonna work? And I like to break down time, what I call into buckets, okay? So a full bucket of time mm -hmm. is four hours, okay? A half okay. bucket of time is two hours. So that means you have six buckets time per day. You have 24 hours a day, six buckets of time, two buckets are sleeping, which means you have four buckets to do mm -hmm. something, depending on what you're doing. You have four buckets and you have half buckets. It takes 15 to 20 minutes just to get your brain acclimated to doing a job. You won't even be productive at anything you do yep. unless you can sit down and focus on that activity for a minimum of 15 minutes just to get started. And that's why you want to say, hey, I'm focusing on something for two to four hours at a time. Okay. If you're going to cold call, don't like, yes, ramp yourself up for an hour, but understand you're only going to have about 45 minutes of productive time. Mm -hmm. cold call. It's better if you can go a full bucket, which is about two hours. But if you have to ramp yourself up, take a break, I, I understand it's tough, right? It's yep. tough. However, allocate your time into buckets. Out of those buckets, now you need to split it between, initially, you need to split it between getting your lists and getting the list that you're going to reach out to and actually reaching out, okay? My recommendation is spend a ridiculous amount of time getting your list up front and then transition into 100% outreach. Uh, one of the mistakes people do is they transition into building CRMs and systems and websites and all of that, mm -hmm. none of it matters. Um, it does matter actually, it just matters not right now, it matters yep. next. Um, and so, your schedule would look like the first thing that you do is you get leads. If you don't have any money, that means driving for dollars. I mean, yep. spend a full bucket, spend four hours, three times a week, going out until you have a minimum of 120 driving for dollars leads, hopefully closer to 300. Mm -hmm. Then transition, and I want you to call those leads for a half a bucket at a time hopefully three to five days a week, okay? And what that's gonna mean is that means you're gonna do, if you do half buckets five days a week, that's 10 hours of cold calling, 10 hours mm -hmm. of calling to reach out to them. Um, and so now you have um, 12 hours of driving for dollars, 10 hours of calling, and that is 22 hours a week. Mm -hmm. in outreach that you're just maintaining trying to get leads okay and if you can maintain that you can build that up all at the same time as if you can spend another two hours even if it's just two hours a week or two hours twice you know like twice a week yep. reaching out to other wholesalers specifically guys who are uh who can do deals like yourself mm -hmm. right in your area and you don't even have to worry about the dispo you're just generating that lead and you can connect with someone else to sell the deal so you can start generating the leads initially. That's what you want to do. You want to focus on your list, whatever that is, driving for dollars, um, prop stream, reaching out to the city for any types of violations, realtors who are doing between, you know, uh, you know, that have done a few deals, three, four deals up to, you know, two million dollars a year. So they're still hungry and they want to work with you reach out to them, start connecting over and over and over and over again, and try to spend 12 to 15 hours a week just reaching out. That's how you're gonna be successful. That's how you're gonna get your first deal and beyond. And mm -hmm. then the fastest way to scale is to do one of two things. It's either to outsource the marketing so it's consistent, or it's to outsource the admin first. If you can outsource one of those two things first, then your second thing will be to outsource the other. And then your third, now you're focused specifically on sales. Now you can focus on, okay, what does it look like to build my team with a lead manager to follow up with a dispo guy? And you can start gradually building out until you can eventually replace yourself in acquisitions. And now you've got a bigger business. I, you know, so we're going to end this show today at just after just a little bit over an hour. And, um, I really want to thank Ronald. Thank you for coming on. And I really appreciate you coming on and taking the time out to spend it with us and, uh, teaching some of these newbies out here 
I uh, no offense, any newbies out there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we want to be, we, we want to teach you here as much as possible. We want to gain knowledge to the people. Yes. You may be competition, but you know what? There's enough deals out there for everybody. There yeah. really is. Well, okay. and if, uh, if anyone's still watching, uh, come out to, uh, the Detroit, uh, Michigan Ria on, uh, this month, I'm going to be uh, on the panel. Um, and we're going to be, uh, talking about some really cool stuff. So, um, yeah, come on out and hang out with us. That's awesome. I appreciate that. You guys have all have a great day and we'll see you on the next episode in two weeks. All Please. right. Have a good one. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room